Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com, and this is tutorial 202. So in our last tutorial we left off, we had just finished getting our main menu system working. And I just wanted to quickly go through the first couple scenes to make sure everything's working. So we can go ahead and we notice, you know, it doesn't load automatically. I'll hit load character, we go in. Our character panel is still working in the inventory. Uh, but the item system, since I've changed it a bit, uh, it's no longer working properly. So if we open up our inventory, we notice the icons aren't showing. And when you click the items, it is adding it to our inventory. But again, the icons are not showing. And we can't equip items anymore. So let me just move this over. So that's something we're going to want to fix. But before we do that, I actually wanted to go over uh, saving a few more settings in our uh, character creation. So let's go ahead and open that scene. It's the character customization. And uh, well, let's start off. We'll just open up the main script, the uh, we call it the player module or player model customization. And if we go down to the bottom, uh, this is where we actually are saving all of our our settings that we're using for all of our different uh, character customization. Now, the reason why I haven't gone over them, all of them is because there's going to be uh, quite a few different customizations for each person depending on your model and there's no way to really account for all of them but I've shown you several ways to set up uh, the ability to change your character uh, your character model is that the base settings hair color skin color you could add another one to you know change type of clothing uh, maybe start a gear you start out with uh, the way we're going to be doing it is we're saving this index so we're going to need to be able to access the indexes that we're saving. And in this case here, this is the one where I was doing the hair. And I just wanted to go over a couple more. All of our indexes are going to be saved as integers, uh, except for their, our scale. Our scale is actually saved as a float. So I'm going to go into Game Settings 2, and we'll just quickly set that up. So I'm going to go right above hair color, right after our constructor. And I'm going to make a public static void and I'm just going to say save uh, character width and of course that takes an int and I'll just call it width and I've played around with this a bit and I found that if I actually added one slider for both height and width it tends to make my at least my character models look a little bit better but I'm still going to leave them separate, so I'll have character width, character height. I uh, just add a little bit more customization. And as well as width, I'm also going to want to save height. So I'll just repaste this in and just change the name. And make sure I got a capital there. And we'll change width to height. And of course, I'm going to add one more. where I can add both. And I'll just call that save character scale. And this will take two. So there'll be an int width and an int height. And all I'm going to do is just call these functions and pass the values in. Uh, this way here you can save your width and height independently or save them both at the same time. And these are actually just going to work, uh, well, just like we have been so far with all the rest of them. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this debug, at least comment it out. And do the exact same thing up here, except this time instead of saving an int, if we take a look, we also have a set float. And this will be width. And we'll want to set up a new constant for it. So I'm just going to come up here and say private const string. And I'm just going to say character width. And 
and I'm just going to set the string to equal. Uh, I'm just going to use char width. And I'm also going to need another one for height, so we might as well just paste it in. And I'll change this one. And I'll just cut and paste this whole thing in here. And we can take this here, save it here, and change the name to height. And we'll change the barrel name to height. Uh, there we go. We got all the saving done. And we'll also want loading functions for them. Bit of trouble typing today. And these also return a float. And we'll just call this load character width. It does not take any parameters. Well, we'll just actually finish this one off. Oh, actually, before we shrink this one down, let's just copy it. All right, so we'll just paste this in, and we're going to be, whoops, there I go scrolling again. <laughs> we're going to be going into our player prefs, and we're not going to get an int. We're going to get float, and we're not getting hair color. We're going to get character width, and we're not going to return zero as default. We're going to return a one as default, or whatever scale you want for the default height for your character. Uh, for me, it's one. And I'll just cut and paste that. And we'll change this to height. And this goes to height. All capitals. And the same thing, I'm going to return a 1 by default. And, well, I could return an array as well. Let's, let's go ahead and do that one as well. So one where that gets both. Just to show you how it's done. Now when you want to return an array, you just put these little square brackets at the end. And I'm going to call this load character scale. And then I'm going to make an array of floats. So we'll just say float. And I'm just going to say scale. Uh, we could also use a vector too for it if we, well no let's just stick with the scale and we'll make this equal to a new float and i'm just going to hard cast in a two because we know there's only two dimensions to our character and we we'll want to separate this line here we'll say return scale and we'll post this up here And I'm going to start off with scale zero is equal to this line. I'm going to cut and paste that and make scale one equal to the same. And the only difference is what we're storing. So we're going to store X and then Y. There we go. Everything is done. I'm going to hop over to Unity, make sure there's no errors. There's none popping up. So let's go into our player model customization. And down here, we can actually start saving that scale now. I'm just going to see if I'm getting a reference to the scale or if I made them constant. I'm just going to quickly search for scale uh, right here. So we're actually saving it as a vector 2, uh, which is fine. So we can come down here and say game settings two dot save character scale and we'll go scale dot x helps if I spell it all <laughs> and scale dot y now if you just wanted to save one 
Uh, let's say you just wanted to do width. You could do game settings two dot save. Uh, what I call it again? I forget already. Save character width. And I spelt this wrong. That means since I cut and paste, I spelt this one wrong. So we'll come back here. Dot save character width. And you could just say scale dot x. Uh, but since I set one up that saves them both, I'm just going to do it like that. And let's actually throw a load in here as well. Let's do a debug dot log. Um, we're going to go game settings to dot load character scale. And it's going to return two values to, for me. So I'm going to do the first one. And let's get the second one as well. I'm having a real hard time typing today. <laughs> okay, so that should save everything. I'll just make sure this is saved and I'm going to head back into Unity and make sure no errors pop up here. And we do have one save character with the. Uh, got to fix these as well. So we'll save that off. We'll head back into Unity. These should go away, but they did not. Uh, let me see. Now the best overloaded method match for game setting same character scales int int. Okay, and vector twos are floats by default, so we'll just typecast these as ints. Oh, I'm sorry. I did put them in as int, but what we're looking for is float. That was my bad. So we'll just go in here and change these. There we go, and we'll check again. And we still have one more here. And there's my error. I've got an extra parentheses in there. So we'll come back, and no more errors. So I'm gonna start it up. Actually, make sure I'm on the character customization scene, I am. I will start this up, it goes into the scene. I actually want to not be in full screen, so we'll start it back up again. And I'm just going to hit next. And there we go. Now, if we adjust our scale, oops, I've actually got the scale part turned off. Uh, it's on the main camera. So I'll just turn that back on. And let's adjust the scale a bit in one direction and shrink in another. And hit next. And there we go. Uh, it's actually the same value. Let me just check this out. All right, so I'm getting the same value out, and it's because this was actually supposed to be a one. So let's try that one more time. I'll turn this back on again. And I'm getting a one to one. And if I scale this down, scale this up, hit next. There we go. And just to make sure, we're going to open up our uh, file that we have saved. And I always forget what this is. I believe it's library preferences. Right. And then we'll go down to the bottom right here. Now I believe this can actually go up to a meg uh, before we have any troubles with it. And it's only at 4K, so there's still quite a bit we can store in here. And I'm looking for character width, character height, right up here. So they'll saved fine. So anyway, I just want to quickly go over how we're going to be saving all these settings out and loading them up. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do them all because it's different for every person. Uh, but as you see, it's it's pretty simple. 
and remember we're making constants up here just to cut down on the typos uh, when we first went over this I still got a lot of email from people just starting out when they're trying to load and save their character and they'll send me their script and it's just because they've typed it wrong so instead of they'll be saving as character height then maybe when they're loading uh, they're using a small c or small h or an underscore it, it has to be the exact same and well this will cut down the errors Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one where I want to actually start going back in game and uh, uh, fixing the item system. But before we actually get there, I am going to do one more thing. Uh, let me see, what, what scripts do we have open right now? If I can get back to it, I must have shrunk it. Uh, let me see, we have player model customization. I want to open up the other scenes and I want to be able to get to this scene again so i'm going to shrink down my scripts open up my scenes i'll start with the main menu actually the main menu does not need to go here it's the uh, character generation scene and if i open up my main script here because right now i have it set to skip this uh this customization scene because i hadn't finished it yet and let's go ahead and application.load level will now be four. And I think that's it. So next I want to fix the item system again because uh, we have made a few changes to it and I'd like it to uh, work properly. Uh, I gotta put my name in. And after that we're gonna come back and actually start loading up these values. And because I have it shrunk down I actually don't have access to all of it. But anyway I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.